City Kids, I hope you are having an awesome day. We are about to have so much fun in our time together. We will start with worship. But you know what? I think we need to get moving first. Stand up to your feet, jump up and down, move side to side, and now repeat after me. Let's worship. Great! Let's go. Ready for some more Bible I Spy? Great! 
I love playing I Spy with you. You're so good at it. Today's Bible story begins with a man named Peter. Peter was a fisherman. That means he would get in a boat, go out on the water, and catch fish for people to eat. Hmm. When I go fishing, I use a fishing pole. Let's do a little I Spy together. Get your binoculars ready. I spy with my little eye a long pole with a string on the end. It's a fishing pole. Do you see a fishing pole? Look with me. You found it! See, it's a fishing pole. Well, Peter, the fisherman, believed in Jesus because Peter saw with his own eyes that Jesus is alive. One day, Jesus told Peter and his other friends that he would come back again. Until then, he wanted them to go and tell everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive, Jesus loves you, and Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Hmm. Love. Friends forever? Let's do a little I spy again. Get your binoculars ready. I spy with my little eye two things that are red and shaped like a heart. Do you see two things that are red and shaped like a heart? Look with me. Hey, one, two, two red hearts. Jesus loves you and he wants to be your friend forever. How amazing is that? After Jesus gave his friends the special job of telling everyone, everywhere, all about him, he left and went to heaven. So Jesus' friends went and told everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive, Jesus loves you, and wants to be your friend forever. Then one day, some men who were different from Peter knocked on his door. Knock, knock, knock. The men asked Peter to come to their house and tell all of their friends about Jesus. Peter knew that Jesus loves everyone, no matter what they look like, what language they speak, where they live, or what they've done. So Peter said he would go to their house, even though they were different from him. Hmm. People, get your binoculars ready. I spy with my little eye a lot of people. Do you see people anywhere? Look with me. You're right, I see some people right here. Peter told all of the people about Jesus, even though they were different from him. Peter told them about the amazing things Jesus did that only he can do. Peter told them how Jesus died and came back just like he said he would. He also told them that he knows Jesus is alive because he saw him and talked with him. He had even eaten food with Jesus. After Peter told the people about Jesus, they believed in Jesus too, because everyone, everywhere, can believe in Jesus. That's why when I ask you, who can believe in Jesus? I want you to say, I can believe in Jesus. So tell me, who can believe in Jesus? Great, now, can you whisper it? Who can believe in Jesus? Perfect, okay, let's close our eyes and talk to God together. Dear God, thank you that Jesus loves everyone, everywhere, no matter what they look like, where they live, what language they speak, or what they've done. Help us go and tell everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive, he loves them, and he wants to be their friend forever. In Jesus' name, amen. I just love that story, and I love how brave Peter was to go and tell everyone, everywhere, all about Jesus. Who can you tell about Jesus this week? Hmm, just think about it. You have people in your life that can believe in Jesus too. How cool is that? Well, what a fun time we had playing Bible I Spy. You were great listeners today, City Kids. Okay, see you later. Bye. Wow, what an amazing story. Everyone say, thank you, Kristen. Okay, right now, we are going to practice our memory verse. We have one of our very own awesome city kids, Lincoln Christian, here to help us through it. Take it away, Lincoln. Hi, my name is Lincoln, and I will be teaching this month's memory verse. Repeat after me. These are written so that you may believe 
that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. Great, now let's do it with the motions. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. Great job. See you next week. Bye. Wow! Great job, Lincoln! And great job to all of you. Parents, go to our social media pages to find out resources, including crafts that will help you and your children discuss this week's lesson. As we have been in the process of reopening City Church, this will be our final online City Kids lesson. If you do not feel comfortable reserving a spot for your child quite yet, feel free to check out the videos from the past few months. We also will be continuing to provide resources on Right Now Media as well as on our social media pages. One last thing, we have VBS coming soon. On July 6th through 9th, from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock, we will have a fun, engaging, and safe VBS here at City Church Bartlesville. We will also have a VBS available for those in Bahuska on July 20th through 23rd from 6 p.m. to 7.30. You can find the form for both VBSs by texting VBS to 484848. All right, city kids, bye.